A gyrodyne is a type of VTOL aircraft with a helicopter rotor-like system that is driven by its engine for takeoff and landing and also includes one or more conventional propellers to provide forward thrust during cruising flight. Lift during forward flight is provided by a combination of the rotor, like an autogyro, as well as conventional wings. Due to a number of issues, there is some confusion over the term gyrodyne and the terms compound helicopter and compound gyroplane are frequently used to describe the same design. The gyrodyne is one of a number of similar concepts which attempt to provide helicopter-like low-speed performance and conventional fixed-wing high speeds, including tilt rotors and tilt wings. In response to a Royal Navy request for a helicopter, Dr. James Allen Jamison Bennett designed the gyrodyne whilst serving as the chief engineer of the Syervan Autogyra Company. The gyrodyne was envisioned as an intermediate type of rotorcraft, its rotor operating parallel to the flight path to minimize axial flow with one or more propellers providing propulsion. Bennett's patent covered a variety of designs, which has led to some of the terminology confusion, other issues including the trademark Gyrodyne Company of America and the Federal Aviation Administration classification of rotorcraft. In recent years, a related concept has been promoted under the name heliplane. Originally used to market gyroplanes built by two different companies, the term has been adopted to describe a Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency program to develop advances in rotorcraft technology with the goal of overcoming the current limitations of helicopters in both speed and payload. History In Britain, Dr. James Allen Jameson Bennett, chief engineer of the Syervan Autogyra Company, in 1936 conceived an intermediate type of rotorcraft, which he named Gyrodyne, and which was tendered to the British government in response to an Air Ministry specification. In 1939, Bennett was issued a patent from the UK Patent Office, assigned to the Syervan Autogyra Company. On August 23, 1940 the Autogyra Company of America, licensees of the Syervan Autogyra Company, Ltd filed a corresponding patent application in the United States. On April 27, 1943, U.S. Patent 2,317,340 was issued to the Autogyra Company of America. The patents describe a gyrodyne as Bennett's concept described a shaft-driven rotor, with anti-torque and propulsion for translational flight provided by one or more propellers mounted on stub wings. With thrust being provided by the propellers at cruise speeds, power would be provided to the rotor only to overcome the profile drag of the rotor, operating in a more efficient manner than the freewheeling rotor of an autogyro in a tour rotation. Bennett described this flight regime of the gyrodyne as an intermediate state, requiring power to be supplied to both the rotor and the propulsion system. Equals early development equals the Syervan Autogyra Company Limited. C-41 Gyrodyne pre-WW2 design study was updated and built by Fanny Ray Aviation as the FB-1 Gyrodyne commencing in 1945. Fanny Ray's development efforts were initially led by Bennett, followed by his successor Dr. George S. Hislop. George B. L. Ellis and Frederick L. Hodges, engineers from the pre-WW2 Syervan Autogyra Company, Ltd., joined Bennett at Fanny Ray Aviation. The first Fanny Ray gyrodyne prototype crashed during a test flight, killing the crew. The second gyrodyne prototype was rebuilt as the jet gyrodyne and used to develop a pressure jet rotor drive system later for the rotodyne transport compound gyroplane. At the tip of each stub wing were rearward facing propellers which provided both your control and propulsion in forward flight. The jet gyrodyne flew in 1954 and made a true transition from vertical to horizontal flight in March 1955. This led to the prototype Fire Ray Rotodyne, which was developed to combine the efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft at cruise with the VTOL capability of a helicopter to provide short-haul airliner service from city centers to airports. It had short wings that carried turboprop engines for forward propulsion and up to 40% of the aircraft's weight in forward flight. The rotor was driven by tip jets for takeoff and landing and translational flight up to 80 miles per hour. Despite considerable commercial and military interest worldwide in the prototype Type Y Rotodyne for air transport, 
British orders were not forthcoming and British government financial support was terminated in 1962. The division's new parent Westland did not see good cause for further investment and the project was stopped. With the end of the Fanai Ray aviation programs, gyrodyne development came to a halt, although several similar concepts continued to be developed. Similar developments, in 1954, the McDonnell 15-1 was developed as a rotorcraft with tip jets to provide vertical takeoff capability. The aircraft also had wings and a propeller mounted on the rear of the fuselage between twin tail booms with two small rotors mounted at the end for your control. The second prototype of 15-1 became the world's first rotorcraft to exceed 200 miles per hour in level flight on October 10, 1956. No more were built and the 15-1 project was terminated in 1957. Equals compound or equals, in 1998, Carter Aviation Technologies successfully flew its technology demonstrator aircraft. The aircraft is a compound Altogaro with a high inertia rotor and wings optimized for high speed flight. In 2005, the aircraft demonstrated flight at Mu 1, with the rotor tip having airspeed equal to the aircraft's forward airspeed, without any vibration or control issues occurring. The high inertia rotor allowed the aircraft to hover for a brief moment during landing, even though the rotor is unpowered and a pro-rotating gearbox allows the rotor to be accelerated for an Autogaro-style jump takeoff. Equals Heliplane equals, in 1954, Kaiba built an aircraft named the Heliplane. The Heliplane was a Cessna 170 with wings reduced to stub sufficient to carry the undercarriage and a rotor powered by tip ram jets. DARPA was funding a project under the Heliplane name to develop the gyrodyne concept around 2007. Aircraft developed for the project would use a rotor for takeoff and landing vertically, and hovering, together with substantial wings to provide most of the required lift at cruise, combining the large cargo capacity, fuel efficiency, and high cruise speed of fixed-wing aircraft with the hovering capabilities of a helicopter. The project was a Euro a multi-year $40 million, four-phase program. Gron Brothers Aviation is working on phase one of that program, a 15-month 40 euro combines the gyroplane a euro with a fixed-wing business jet. The team was using the Adam A700, in the very light jet class a euro there were issues with tip jet noise, and the program was cancelled in 2008. An industry magazine describes the gradual evolution of traditional helicopters as slow and lacking revolutionary steps and non-traditional compounds are still not widespread. Theory, computer simulations indicate that optimum distribution of lift could be 9% for the rotor, and 91% for the wing. Trademark. Gyrodyne was granted as a trademark to the Gyrodyne Company of America in 1950. The company was not involved in Gyrodyne development, but instead produced a turbine-engined, remotely piloted drone helicopter, with coaxial rotors for the United States Navy, designated as the QH-50 Dash. Examples, Anton Fletner, Flugzeug Bau GmbH, Fletner Floor 185, Fletner Floor 265 Bell 533, Eurocopter X-3, Fanny Ray Aviation Company, Fanny Ray FB-1 Gyrodyne, Fanny Ray Jet Gyrodyne, Fanny Ray Rotodyne. Camoth, Camoth Car 22. Lockheed, Lockheed XH-51, Lockheed AH-56 Cheyenne, Piasaki X-49, Sikorsky S-69. See also, Carter Copter, Tilt Rotor, Tilt Wing. References, Notes. Bibliography. External links, vstol.org Wheel of Misfortune, Charnov, Bruce H. The Fanny Ray Rotodyne, An Idea Whose Time Has Come a Euro Again? Gyrodyne and Heliplane Concepts, Heliplane Concept, Jet Gyrodyne, Hirschberg, Mike Hybrid Helicopters, Compounding the Quest for Speed, Bert Eiffelt. Summer 2006. American Helicopter Society. Newman, Simon. The Compound Helicopter Configuration and the Helicopter Speed Trap Aircraft Engineering and Aerospace Technology 69, 5. Pages 407 a Euro 413, New Design Approach of Compound Helicopter WSEAS Transactions on Applied and Theoretical Mechanics Issue 9, Volume 3, 
September 2008 ISSN, 1991-8747.